the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 157 Psalms 135 to 142 God's right hand holds me. Since God watches thoughts and actions of all people, we should fall down before Him and ask Him to put His goddess on our lips. First point, the psalmist hopes that people will commemorate God for generations to come. Psalms 78, 105, and 106 are historical poems along with Psalms 135, which proclaims that God saved Israel despite the Israelites worshipping other idols. The reason to praise and worship God lies here. God selected the Israel people to be his possession and led them out of Egypt. God also gave the land of Canaan, as he had promised to their ancestors. God is incomparable to any lowly idols made by humans. The fact that God protected the Israelites was God's great blessing. Subjectively seen, the Israelites were not outstanding compared to other nations. However, God selected them to carry out his mission. The psalmist teaches people to praise God and emphasizes that God is worthy of our worship. Second point, David confesses that even though God is a high above, he still helps the weak. In Psalm 138, David offers thanks to God. David thanks God for listening to his prayer. He also confessed that he knew that God would deliver him from any hardship or fear. David could have made himself a great military king with his army. However, David wished to be known for serving God and to become God's army. In this psalm, David offers his thanks to God for his help in raising his spirit and for God's right hand. Third point, David thinks that God does not forget a single thing that he said. In Psalm 139, David writes that he is being chased and that his life is in danger. He asks that he will hate those who hate God. David pulls himself together by confessing that God's will cannot be changed. Before we knew God, God knew us. God knows everything about us, our thoughts, actions, fears, etc. The most wonderful thing is that God looks after us with his right hand. This realization consoled David enormously. Thus, David confessed that the Lord was his shepherd and that he lacked nothing because of this. God knows where I sit and stand up. God knows my thoughts. God knows my every move. God knows the words that come out from my tongue. God knew me before I was born. God knows my heart and my intentions. Therefore, we cannot escape God. David walked with God all throughout his life. Faith starts from realizing this. Fourth point, David thinks that God is his Lord. In Psalm 140, David cried that there was no person to save him from Saul while he was being chased. And so David asked God to judge the wicked. Instead of attacking his enemies, David instead waited for God to strike. He had the faith that God would not let the wicked 
get away without it. God knew David's suffering, and he had the faith that God would act on his behalf. David was thus able to rely on God. David wrote, Rescue me, Lord, from evil to us. Protect me from the violent. They make their tongues as sharp as a serpent. The poison of vipers is on their ribs. Keep me safe, Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Protect me from the violent, who devise ways to trim my feet. The arrogant have hidden a snare for me. They have spread out the cordons of their net and have set traps for me along my path. David looked to God and asked for his help. This is the privilege for those who have faith. They know and believe that God is there to help. Fifth point, David sang for his prayer to be like burnt incense before God. In Psalm 141, David does not attack his enemies, but rather calls out to God. He was able to do this because he believed and trusted in God's righteousness. Later on, David asked God to send a God over his mouth so that he would not say wrong things. David prayed most earnestly. David wanted his prayer to burn like incense before God. David was someone who made burnt offerings to God with animals. With his experience, he wished for his prayer to burn like incense and be a pleasing aroma to the Lord. David prayed for his prayer to be like an offering. He prayed that his heart did not waver due to the wicked. He also prayed that he accepted the harsh words that criticized him. He prayed that he escaped to God and for God to rescue him from the wicked. David always prayed that, May these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be praising in your sight, Lord my rock and my redeemer. Thus, God called David someone who was close to his heart. This was why David was able to keep his heart concentrated on God despite having to rule a kingdom at war for most of his rule. We should also hope to pray like David for God to say that we are close to his heart. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tong Doc app. The Tong Doc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.